After braving the Snackabosk and taming its watchdog, our hero finally met his match. A house of dangerously delicious confections. But try as he might to resist, Kutaro's fate had already been sealed by the belt about his waist. Welcome back you guys, my name is Gamer Boy, and in today's game we're going to be playing, it's called Puppeteer, and we are going to go into Act 5, Scene 2, so without further ado, just because I have nothing else to say, let's just go into what we need to do. And so the story continues. Behold, Halloween Veal, where every ghost worth his sheet loved a good scare. If you manage to spook someone out of their treats, then by George, you've done your job. However, that was before the Moon Goddess vanished, and sly General Monkey played a real trick on Halloween Veal. He ousted the town's mayor and the ghastly mayoral family from their haunted house, converted the building into a laboratory, and once settled in, Monkey began doing things to the town's produce. You see now the awesome scrumptious tastiness of monkey's pumpkin creations? The first bite is heaven, but then the cookie crumbles! <laughs> the moonstone shards are back in our clutches! The moonbear king will be most pleased! Uh, you'll pay for this! Uh, give those back! Wait! I would be mad to give up this kind of power! <laughs> Think of the experiments I could conduct! Not <laughs> while I'm around! <laughs> Round indeed! I, monkey, shall use these moonstone pieces in my experiments! Now make like a banana and peel! You creep! Nobody cracks jokes like that on lives! I'll get you! Just as soon as I can find my toes! Oh, me ouch! Now that is pathetic! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you poor plump dears. What a shame on you for stuffing your piggy little faces. You can yell at us later. That ape ran off with our moonstone shards. This is horrible. Those stones have the power to restore magic and memory, but now you've messed everything up. Kotaro, you are a special boy. Especially stupid. Ah. Stop lecturing us. Change us back to normal if you want our help! Oh, but magic can only undo magic. You may have been charmed into eating those sweets, but the sweets themselves were no smell. You pig out, you get fat. That's just nature. Wait, what does that mean? You can't fix us? We'll be chubs forever? I said magic can't fix you, dummy! You got yourself fat, now get yourself thin! But it can't be that! Oh, nothing is ever easy. And I'm gonna make sure this isn't. Ow! <laughs> Stop it, you have! Get sweating, porky! Time's a wasting. Oh, all I need is the moonstone and calibrus. It's all I need. You know, you could just give up and stay an ugly, pathetic witch forever. Yang Yang! <laughs> So, the witch is the one pulling the strings. This awesomely juicy morsel should come in handy. <laughs> General Monkey's tasty trap had turned our poor hero into the Lord of Lard. From shrimp... ...to blimp. Did he ever? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Let's just say he raced into a slimmer future, flab jiggling in the winds of change. That's it, Totoro. You're getting thinner. Kutaro had plenty of pounds to spare as he demolished rock, bridge, and foe. His globe-like body was a microcosm of his struggles, as if some mini Kutaro was slicing away with Calibrus at the layers of fat. Your greatest enemy is yourself. Looking good, kiddo! Keep it up! Hmm. 
What? 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 What just happened? Uh, I, 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 I don't get what just happened. And did he ever? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Let's just say he raced into a slimmer future, flab jiggling in the winds of change. That's it, Kataro. You're getting thinner. Kuzuro had plenty of pounds to spare as he demolished rock, bridge, and foam. His globe-like body was a microcosm of his struggles, as if some mini Kutaro was slicing away with Calibrus at the layers of fat. I still don't know what I'm doing, so this is gonna be, like, taking for a little while. And did he ever? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Let's just say he raced into a slimmer future, flab jiggling in the winds of change. Kuzuro had plenty of pounds to spare as he demolished rock, bridge, and foe. His globe-like body was a microcosm of his struggles, as if some mini Kuturo was slicing away with Calibrus at the layers of fat. Your greatest enemy is yourself. Looking good, kiddo! Keep it up! All of human history can be traced along our waistlines. Agriculture and then food storage eventually separated men into the plump and the poor. Call it fatocracy. <laughs> to now. I have zero idea of what I'm doing. All of human history can be traced along our waistlines. Agriculture and then food storage eventually separated men into the plump and the poor. Call it fatocracy. <laughs> I really don't have any idea for what I'm doing here. It's just a shot in the dark of what I'm doing. I think I'm cutting away on my fat. I don't know. All of human history can be traced along our waistlines. Agriculture and then food storage eventually separated men into the plump and the poor. Call it fatocracy. <laughs> to narrow the divide between the fat. Okay, at least I'm glad that I have a lot of lives because this is like, what the freak am I doing? I have zero understanding of anything that's going on right here but before i do go on i want to check here to make sure that yeah yes yes i get i can go forward if i press the square but all of human history can be traced along our waistlines agriculture and then food storage eventually separated men into the plump and the poor call it fatocracy <laughs> To narrow the divide between the fats and the fat knots, someone had the bright idea to ration food up. It was called communism. Want bread? Line up. Don't be like those unhealthy fatocrats. But communism ultimately oh, lost no. out. No five-year plan could wean people from the temptation of all that caviar and vodka. It was hard work. But Kutaro shed the pounds. Having doffed his mantle of corpulence, he could once again squeeze into his place amongst heroes. Yes! Awesome! <gasps> Wait, what about me? I get thin too, don't I? Oh no, I don't want to be fat alone! What see? At the end of his pot-bellied, uh, stout-hearted slong through self-imposed emaciation, Kuturo had wandered right into Halloween veal. Oh, this is much better. I can see my- Give me candy, or die! Um, I don't think that's how Halloween works. The pumpkin monster attacked with vicious geezers of cream filling. At this rate, Kutaro and Picorino would be drowned. If we get the cream off the roof, we might be able to slam the house back to normal.
What, what am I supposed to be doing? Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm gonna die. Oh, seriously, I'm supposed to cut it? How was I supposed to know that I was supposed to cut it? Uh huh. Seriously, what am I really supposed to be doing Give here? Give me candy or die. Um, I don't think that's how Halloween works. The pumpkin monster attacks with vicious geezers of cream filling. At this rate, Kutaro and Picarino would be drowned. Ooh. Ooh, um. I feel sick. Oh, I haven't seen this much projectile vomit since my sorority days. Oh, get me out of here! See the juice? That's where the pumpkins bounce. You'll never escape! He's creeping the houses! Fetch them so we can keep going! Ginger bee man, miss! Oh, who's this delicious morsel? I'll have a bite! Oh no, Kataro's been eaten. Come on, we all know this is one of those bonus things. No freaking duh, but uh... Welcome to Gingerbread Land! You guys have your own land? That's awesome! You're telling me! I know! Gingerbread is a soft, moist treat flavored with ginger and molasses. People cut us into the shape of little ginger people and hang us up at Christmas time. That was short. Mm, yeah, very, very short. Come on, I know what I'm supposed to be doing. I will crush you. Or you'll end up face first in cream! There was no safe haven for our dashing duo. Halloween Veal was clearly out to get him. Ah! Is there no escape? Yeah, this is just weird. Come on, I know what I'm supposed to be doing. This is just really weird. Like, I never thought the game would become this weird. So, yeah. This is pretty much the weirdest thing I've done in this game. Almost. Now, you are finished. Okay, so just cutting this. I'm quiet just because I need to be just right here, just so then I don't die. Thank you. Yum. Or not. Thanks to Halloween Beetle's lack of orthodontists. Kutaro and Picarina avoided almost certain gnashing. I'll chew you yet! Are those gooey places cavities? That that would hurt if you attack them. Oh, I'm supposed to go over there, of course. You can't toss a bomb in with that goop in the way! 
Trap you forever! This time, the pumpkin monster kept his jaw clamped shut, leaving neither nook nor cranny to crawl out of. They were trapped. Let's just get away from the teeth! I need not, I don't want to lose my head. Now this looks like a nice mushy cavity! Slam it to pieces! You monsters! I guess the moral here is, think about what you eat. Otherwise, your food might kick you in the teeth! Actually, we get gobbled up a lot. Tigers, snakes, whales, and now a pumpkin. We see more action than a gastroscope. At least I got my head back, so yeah. So this is kind of easy, but not at the same time. Remember, cavities can lead to bad breath, gum disease, loss of hearing, and death. Don't forget to make that dentist appointment. Loss of hearing? That's a new one. Come on, let's do this. I don't want to die. Do not want to get crushed. Here we go. Hello, cavity. <laughs> That was experience talking. Oh well, I lost one head, but it's not something to cry over. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Let's do this, I know what I'm supposed to be doing. The battered cavities had only worsened the pumpkin monster's depravity. He was done savoring. This was one meal that needed to die and be forgotten. Oh, need to run. Need to run. Cut, 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 cut. Go, go, go. Do not want to. Go, 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 go. Do not want to. Let's finish the job. Oh, you ruined everything. What? Hey, whoa. If we hadn't busted you out of there, you'd be spending the rest of your days as a pumpkin monster. What is a pumpkin but a manifestation of the predictability of everyday life? My soul will never be free. That's crazy talk. We just freed you big time. I am Nebula, Nebula Oblongata, existential wanderer of the cosmos of the soul, and yet prisoner of the fleshy coils of my impending adolescence. You're a ghost? So is everyone in Halloweenville. People insist I am the mayor's daughter, but they are deceived by illusion. They do not realize I am a ray of blazing light in a galaxy of darkness, cast out by the gods and saddled with this cage you ordinary fools would call a body. Um, that's nice. Well, if you're the mayor's daughter, maybe you've seen this guy, this monkey guy? He totally swiped our goods and we want him back. Yes, the simian is conducting experiments in the haunted house in the center of town. The place I called my literal home. Well, Kataro, let's go. Wait! What? <gasps> oh, don't do that! General Monkey has transmogrified the haunted house into a laboratory. It is a fell crucible of tin and iron, a portentous labyrinth of tubes and tinctures. To set foot inside would be to bring down the hammer of your own doom. Unless, of course, you enter through the unspeakable door. Unspeakable? 
You just spoke it. So, I take it you know where the door is? Yes, it was my literal home. Then could you, uh, show us? Impossible! Monkey stole my key to the unspeakable door. Of course he did. But not the mayor's. Okay, great. So, where is the mayor? In the one place where the haggard robes of mortality can be shrugged aside. Upon the golden bridge that separates life from death. Right. And translation? The graveyard. Huh. With the help of Calibrus, Kuturo defeated the menace and saved the souls of a lucky few. Well done, Kuturo! The souls he freed were homeward bound. Kutaro survived the most larduous of tasks, a gauntlet of tummy aches and toothaches. After fasting as fast as feasible, he made his way to the graveyard to find the mayor, and hopefully a key to the stolen moonstone pieces. Uh, yeah, this this episode is weird. That last level was weird. I, I don't even know what to even say about the last level. It was just... Oh my god, weird. What? What? The, uh, there's nothing I could say to make that normal. Th that, that was just, oh my god, that was weird. Uh, I, I, uh, I don't have anything to say. But, uh, that was, uh, I, uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm at a loss of words because I have nothing I can say about that level that that scene that we were in uh, what but anyway I completed it so I'm just gonna go so if you like the video hit that like button if you want more videos by me give a boy hit the subscribe button and I'll see you all guys in the next Woo!